Two months ago, we told you about a plan by the Chamber of Commerce to repopulate the Youngstown Warren areas. People are needed to fill the jobs that they say will be coming over the next decade. Tonight, we go further in depth into one of the key aspects of the repopulation plan, bringing in refugees from other countries. In August, as part of its Salute to Business program, the Youngstown Warren Regional Chamber invited Lee Williams to speak about bringing in refugees. Well, I started a conversation with the Regional Chamber of Commerce a while ago to talk about uh, interest in perhaps setting up a local resettlement agency in Youngstown. Lee Williams is with the Lutheran Immigration Refugee Service, or LIRS. LIRS is one of 10 national nonprofit agencies who work with local partners across the country uh, to welcome people into their communities, help them establish their new lives. The Refugee Admissions Program in the United States is run by the State Department, which this year allowed in 125,000 refugees. The goal of Lutheran Services is to get them self-sufficient as quickly as possible. That means housed with jobs and kids in school in six months. And the only way that resettlement works well is to have the entire community engaged. But this community was built on the backs of immigrants moving here to produce steel. Mike McGiffin of the Youngstown Warren Regional Chamber and consultant Emma Lisniansky are driving the effort locally to repopulate, and both are in favor of including refugees. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't embrace, um, you know, people who are from other countries who are coming here to live a better life. What's needed first is a sponsor for the resettlement agency, possibly Lee Williams Lutheran Services or Catholic Charities, which does refugee resettlement in other cities. So by having a resettlement agency here, we'd be required to have at least 100 people come in a year as refugees, and it could certainly be more. As an example, Liz Niansky used the post-industrial city of Utica, New York. Its population dropped 60 percent over several decades before the people of Utica started embracing refugees. They've actually got their population slightly on the rebound, and now a quarter of their residents are foreign-born. Anyone that wants to work, it doesn't matter to me, it shouldn't matter where they're from. Ian Beniston of the Youngstown Neighborhood Development Corporation started looking into bringing in refugees eight years ago, but it never went anywhere. Beniston says Dayton has a neighborhood of Christian Turks, and then there's Akron. At Akron, the north side, I mean, there's you can literally eat at a Bhutanese restaurant, go in a little Nepali grocery store. So, I mean, once you have a critical mass, too, they're creating their own micro economies. For people concerned about bringing in refugees, Lee Williams says not to worry. Refugees are the most securely vetted people coming, uh, immigrating to the United States. The average time it takes for a person to go through the entire vetting process is between 18 and 24 months. To help run the refugee program around Youngstown, the regional chamber wants to open an office of repopulation, which will be part of a $159 million state grant that the chamber and its partners are applying for, the details of which we will learn more about at an event on Friday. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.